YouTube, it's your boy Lil Booby, and I'm back with another video. And today, we got a lock update, man. Six years. It's been my six year mark was March 24th. That was the first day I got locks, March 24th, 2017, I believe. Yeah, 2017. So it's been six years, a little over six years, because I mean, obviously, as y'all know, it's it's August what third? So it's, it's the beginning of August right now, 2023, and I haven't dropped a video since my first like real video on my channel. I have not dropped a hair video. And growing up, when I wanted locks, I used to watch a lot of like lock videos. Like this person talking about locks, this is snap. So, I mean, I have them now. Let me take them down. Y'all be like, how you gonna do a lock video? You ain't even showing your locks. Here y'all go, man. Here y'all go. As y'all can see, I. I got a little color in my hair. Try to get y'all a little 360. I'm sitting on the couch, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Let me see. Can y'all see? Anyway, honestly, you would never just catch me just out like this with my hair just down like this. It, it rarely happens, if ever. It don't never happen. I always got, you feel me? The standby fitted. You feel me? I throw it on. Boom. We good and we out. We out the door. But yeah, a lot of times, if if I don't have nothing on my head, which is rare, because I, I usually rock um, hats or beanies. So I'm a big hat or beanie person. So I always usually have something on my hair, but my go-to is just a ponytail. If I'm just around the house or something, I have it in the ponytail just how I started the video. Don't talk about me, man. I couldn't get to the barber, none of that. But it's all good. So what I do want to talk to y'all about is, hold on, I got my little notes right here. See, like this is too hot for me. I'm already starting to sweat. Like this is just, it's just too much. And then you trying to eat and you trying to do all of this and the hair is just in your face, bruh. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of just having my hair like this. I try to do it every now and then just to let my hair breathe from always being tied up in, in a ponytail or, I mean, I rarely rock, I rock the bun sometimes. Ooh, I'm already starting to sweat. Hold on, let me put it back up well, so I can talk to y'all. So right here, I think this is when I first dropped my video and it was around 2020 when I dropped my first lock video. And y'all go see the pictures or I'll put a little clip from um, my first video. This is right before I got my hair twisted to get locks. And this is right after. This is my starter locks. And this was one month after I got my locks. And I was about to get them done for prom. Okay, I, I want to give y'all some do's and don'ts. So, most important dudes that I would say is, bro, if, and I, I have to say this because I'll make sure I do this every night, but if you have locks, make sure you wrap your hair up every night, bro. That's the least you can do. If you don't do nothing else, bro, make sure you just put something on your head when you go to sleep. It's not that hard, bro. Don't get too lazy where you feel like you can't put something on your locks, especially if you, you feel me? If you, if you black, African-American, whatever you want to call it, bro, you should be used to this anyway. If you got short hair, you should be wearing a do-rag. If you, if you got waves, whatever the case may be. If you got long hair, you're probably wearing a bonnet. If you a girl, you might be wearing a bonnet or a scarf, whatever the case may be. Wrap your hair up. It's not that hard, bro. Y'all niggas is just lazy. That's what you should be doing anyway. Protect your hair when you sleep, bro. Number two. Well, I'm going to give y'all a don't now. The don't is, like I said, if... I know you might want to dye your hair eventually. You might not. But if you do, it, if you, what you need to know is it will dry out your hair, bro. It will dry it, dry out your hair. So to prevent it being so dry, make sure you moisturize your hair more than usual. Like make sure your hair is moisturized because the, the chemicals used to dye your hair is going to dry it out. You might get some breakage. You might you might lose a little half a lot. This you might. That's what I'm saying. You don't want that to happen. So make sure your hair is moisturized because that's going to help. Like I said, I understand if you want to dye your locks, as you can see, my my locks is dyed and I want to I want to get this a little lighter so I might re-dye. But like I said, it will dry out your hair. It is like it's a process. If if you really want to, I get it because you just want to have your own style, be unique, want to have your your own locks. 
But what I would say is, if you want to do any of this and you want to kind of get a gist of what you want or how you want your hair beforehand, I would say really find somebody with the um, same hair texture and <clears throat> same lock size, pretty much. If you want to get a gist of how, a st if like, say how my hair is dyed and I wanted to see how it looked before I dyed it, I would look for somebody with my size locks and my hair texture. That would be the easiest way for me to get a gist of what my hair is gonna look like once I do dye it. Like, as y'all know, anybody can have locks. I wouldn't go look at the the, the white guy um, locks and use they whatever product they use. I might not need to use their product because our hair texture is different. It might work different. They can't, whatever they put in their hair might not work on me. And what I put in my hair might not be the best for them. So I wouldn't really just go buy anybody locks. You have to kind of get a gist of things. And like I said, you could be black, but you can't just go to another black person and be like, oh, this works on my hair. Cause like I said, all black people don't have the same hair texture. You have to find what your texture is and what's gonna work best for your hair, bro. You can't just pick any anything just because they got locks too, I got locks, so it must work if it works on locks. No, it don't really work like that. You have to find what, what works best for you and your hair type, your hair texture. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all a don't. What you don't want to do is, bro, do not, and I repeat, do not let anybody touch your hair, bro. Don't let anybody just do your hair because somebody will mess you up. They will mess your hair up. So I'm saying if you use some girl sliding your DMs talking about she could do your hair and you like, okay, bro, make sure this person has this, the quality work. Make sure they can actually do a, a good job on your hair and not just do your hair because like i said they somebody can mess you up they can mess your parts up they can mess up your which way your hair is twisted they can like it's a lot of ways your hair can be messed up as easy as it looks or sounds to, to retwist some hair everybody can't do it i'm just being honest everybody can't do it like i said i've had locks for six years and it's only been three people to ever touch my hair it's been three people to ever touch my hair and that's what i'm saying i don't i wouldn't advise just going to anybody Make sure they have that quality that you're looking for. You feel me? Even if it's gonna if it's gonna cost you a little bit more, I'd rather you pay that little bit more than going to somebody that's going that's a little cheaper and they're like they messing your hair up and it's not it might not last as long. It's not gonna look as healthy and at the end of the day, it's just gonna mess up how you look. <laughs> it don't really have nothing to do with them. It's just gonna mess up how you look and basically how you feel. Your confidence it might go down because you feel like oh my locks look crazy. That's what I'm saying. So if you got to pay that a little bit more, just go ahead and do that, bro. Honestly, just go ahead and do that. Make sure your locks are straight. Make sure you good. I'm going to tell y'all everything I do on my locks. I, like I said, I put something on it when I go to sleep and I get a retwist once a month. So I get a retwist once a month and I put something on, on my hair when I go to sleep. I don't, li I literally don't do nothing else. And I know that's bad. I'm supposed to moisturize this, this and that especially as a person that have color in, in my hair. But I wouldn't say I regret it because I took it upon myself to not do nothing. I could have I could have tried to moisturize more this, this and that, but I did it. So that's personally on me. Personally, why I wanted locks is because you can you can do all these different styles. And like before I had locks, I had waves and all you when you got waves, all you can do is you have waves. You brush your hair, you have waves. There's nothing new. You can't switch it up. Like right now, I can go outside and wear my hair like this or I can pull it down, or like I said, I can put it in the bun. I can throw on, I can throw in some twists. I can style it. I can throw in some barrel twists. I can do all these different things in a matter of like a day, not even a full day, a couple hours. I can have a whole different hairstyle. I look like a totally different person. So that's that's a plus for me for having locks. Hold on, I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. Hold on, hold on, cause I'm spitting that heat. <laughs> I'm putting your own game. I'm spitting that heat, man. Before the end of this video, I, I do want to try to give y'all a proper 360. It's kind of hard because I am sitting on this couch right now and I can't really spin around fully. But I want to show y'all what six years look like, bruh. Like a lot of y'all probably just starting or you feel me? You probably like two years in or something and you just want to, you just want to see. So look, you see the swing. I'll vent this in previous videos. I mean, I don't really like to shake my locks too much because, you feel me? There we go. Yeah, I just want to give y'all a proper 360, bro. And 
while I'm here, I guess I will show y'all how I put my hair in the bun. I just flip my hair down. I grab it. Get your band. And boom. You got your bun. You got your bun. You feel me? I said, I don't, I don't really rock this too often, but this is like how I'll get in the shower and all of that type stuff. Quick little bun. Like I said, don't don't get on my cuts and stuff, bro. I ain't been to the barber. Hey, what y'all need to know? My birthday this month, bro. So y'all go get a birthday vlog. Make sure y'all hit the like on the video if y'all want to see me go crazy for my birthday and y'all want to see all the footage, bro. Because I will get that footage for y'all. That's what that's something I that will do. If y'all want to see that birthday vlog, man. My birthday is August 21st. Like I said, it's August. It is August 3rd, I believe. I, I really can't tell, but it's August 3rd, I think. My birthday, August 21st. Smash the like button if y'all want to see. I just have to set that because it just, it was an intrusive thought. It just came to my mind right now. Something I do want to tell y'all is don't be discouraged by the ugly phase, man. Don't don't be discouraged by all the people that's going to be talking about you, trying to get on you, saying you got worms in your hair, this, this, and that, what's on your head. Bro, I'm telling you, once you get it, once you get through the mud, once you get it out the mud, bro, once you get through that little phase and your, and your locks start hitting for real, bro, they, whoever was talking about you, they going to end up thinking about getting locks because they go see it. They be like, whoo. That's how they gonna turn out, bro. You just gotta trust the process, man. Just believe in believe in your hair, man. Believe in yourself. You you know what your hair could be because you started it for a reason. You started your locks for a reason. You know what it could turn out to be. Don't be discouraged. Don't don't have anybody tell you to cut your hair and this this and that. If you want locks, man, get them. Like I said, I got it out the mud. I've been through the ugly phase, but like I said, six years later, I'm still here. I'm not gonna say I've never thought about cutting my hair, but it's not for how somebody else felt about it. If I thought about cutting my hair, it was j just for me. You feel me? But I still love being a part of the lock community, bro. That's why I'm here now, talking to y'all, showing y'all all of this information and telling y'all about these styles, do's and don'ts, this, this, and that. I just want to make sure y'all get the best information that y'all could, just especially if you starting off getting locks or you want locks. You probably got a bald head right now and be like, Psh, let my hair grow out. I'm going to get these locks. So, like I said, wrap your hair up at night. Don't let anybody touch your hair. Make sure you moisturize and um, do, do the right research. Make sure you're using the right products. Don't just use anything that you see somebody else using just because. Make sure you're, whatever you're using is best for you. But I'm going to throw the clip in of my Instagram or the pictures, slideshow, however I would do it, and y'all go see that. But... As far as me talking right here with y'all right now, man, I'm out, bruh. Peace. Okay, so I just really want to tell y'all, like, the hairstyles that I wear and that I like to wear. I don't wear very many. I don't think, personally, for somebody that has locks, I feel like most people that have locks wear a plethora of different styles. I, I kind of stick with the same couple. I think I'm just going to pull up some pictures from my Instagram so y'all can see. I'm going to just put, put it on the screen. I might just talk over it or whatever the case may be. So let me go to my Instagram real fast so I can so I can really start it off. I like the big twist look. That's one of my personal favorites. I'll throw a picture up for my Instagram. Like I'll wear these big twists. And it's my personal favorite just because it don't seem like too much. Like I said, with my hair down like this, it just seems hot. When, when I have the big twist in, I can just let it hang. And it's not like too suffocating to my face. It's not too heavy. It's not too thick. It just... I, I got enough air and I like I like how it look personally so right here as you can see this is when I dyed my hair same here you can just see a little closer this is me wearing a bun which I told you I rarely wear you can see my two strand twist with the with the dye this the twist out little crinkles right here we have two strand twist a little more clear we have the bun with the beanie. This is what I was talking about with the bangs, with the ones coming out the front. We got the crinkle bun. The braid down, like sideways, like pop smoke. These are the big twists I was telling y'all. Y'all see in the next picture also. This is like one of my favorite styles right here. 
And this is just showing you my hair down, fully dog. Of another picture with the four out in the front. And we have this recycle once again. It's one of my go-tos.